In an abandoned tower block damaged by Russian shelling in Ukraine's Kharkiv, Olga Kobzar plans to tough out winter for as long as she's able. The 70-year-old lives alone and has no electricity or water. She lights the gas stove in her kitchen for warmth. The temperature can fall to minus 4 Fahrenheit, that's minus 20 Celsius. Olga is the last remaining inhabitant of her tower block in the devastated Soltivka district, around 20 miles from the Russian border. I plan to stay for as long as I can. It will be freezing cold and all that. I may stay longer with some friends, possibly. The only important thing is that my son comes back from the front line healthy and alive. I don't need anything else. The seven-month-old war has wrought huge damage to the energy network and to residential areas in swathes of Ukraine. Officials fear Moscow could deliberately attack critical infrastructure when the frost sets in. They're urging people to stock up on everything from firewood to electric generators ahead of unpredictable disruptions. Residential areas in cities are centrally heated by power stations fueled by natural gas. But heating apartment blocks with smashed windows and walls is dangerous because the pipes could freeze and wreck the local system. Nearby local priest Vyacheslav Koyan is boarding up broken windows for elderly neighbors so the heating can be turned on. Most are worried. Many have left. There are literally about five people in each building section, mostly pensioners. I stayed and didn't leave because I can't leave my building and the pensioners. It wouldn't be right. If there are disruptions to the heating system, electricity supplies will become vital. Many have purchased electric-powered heaters. But the electricity network could be overwhelmed if people use their own heating equipment en masse, experts say. Energy officials are declining to disclose detailed data about the state of infrastructure, citing wartime secrecy, and possibly so as not to stir panic. But in a rare disclosure on Saturday, energy officials said two power substations in an undisclosed southern location were, quote, completely destroyed by Russian attacks in late September.